Is Fanny Willis setting black women back? <laughs> Grab your stick. Grab your drink. Let's get into this thing right now. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy JB coming at you live and direct, and you know what it is. It's the Smoke Something, Drink Something podcast. I'm the Real Cigar Jeff. You can find me on Instagram at the Real Cigar Jeff. You can find me on Facebook at Smoke Something, Drink Something podcast. And of course, you're watching this on YouTube right now. I need you to do me a favor. Look below, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications. As soon as you come into the building, man, that really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Get down in the comments as well. We got to jump right into this thing. But before we get here, y'all know I got to introduce my panel so they can tell y'all what they sipping on or what they smoking on first in the building. Y'all know who it is, man. People's champ. Y'all love him because he hating on me all the time. man. I'm going to let him introduce himself. He got a little special cigar tonight. He he didn't even want to pull it out for me. Hey, no, while, we, while we for the pre-game, so tell me what you're sipping on, what you're smoking on, TLC. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, TLC. Tonight, I'm just doing the Oliva. This is the G-Series. Don't know if you ever see that. No, you gotta, yeah, okay, there you go. Got yeah, the Oliva. Okay. Yeah, nothing special. I'll just take it okay. out of the tube, the little shipping tube. Mm. Uh, doing a red blend. This is Cocoa Bond. This is roasted oat red blend. So, just a little wine. Okay. That's okay. all it is tonight. Nothing, nothing special. Nothing, nothing special, even for the night, you know? Nah. Even for the night, huh? Nah, just, Even for just tonight, Y'all know, man, like I tell y'all, we're going to get through the introductions, man. We're going to get through the introductions. Y'all can find TLC stuff down in the description, man. Appreciate him. Appreciate him being on as always. Yeah, appreciate him being on as always. That's enough. You know, y'all don't, we can't get him. He, he, it go to his head when I let it go on too long. Y'all know who oh, I got nice. next, man. My A1 from day one. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Tell y'all what she's sipping on tonight. She was going into the lab for y'all. Before we came in live, so let them know what you're sipping on around the night. Thanks, JB, for having me back. What's up, TLC? Um, tonight I have two drinks because I don't know if this one will taste good. So tonight <laughs> I have my I'm gonna call it a rum punch. So mm. of course I had to crack open this rum haven. Oh, nice. Crack open okay. this rum rum haven okay. and I mixed it with pineapple juice and ginger ale. So mm -hmm. when I sip okay. on this, if my face look funny. Then I have my backup of my De Serono velvet <laughs> that y'all will see me mm. pour live. <laughs> Back to you, JB. And direct. And, and direct. direct. Yes. Appreciate you reading my book. I am direct. Oh, that's going to be good, man. It's going to be good. Pineapple juice, ginger. Should have had some ginger beer, but really would have done it. Pre appreciate you being on, man. Appreciate it. And, man, y'all know I'm still, I'm still in ski season mode. I'm still living off of that ski season residue. I got my high west at night that I'm sipping on. And, and, and of course, today, man, I picked up my Avo Fogata. My Avo Fogata. Had to pick it up. This thing is pretty smooth. I'm going to have to do a review on it. Avo Fogata TLC. Next time you're in your local tobacconist, ask him about that Avo. He, he, he'll let you know. You know, when, when we did the reviews on El Septimo, you went and picked it up. So, you know, go ahead and pick up that Avo, you know, Fogata. I had to get it. Had to get it. So, let's get into this thing right now, guys. Is Fannie Willis setting black women back? We got to jump into this thing, guys. And let me tell you this. I don't care where you are on the political spectrum. Everybody has an opinion on this. And the reason I wanted to jump on this right now, that wasn't going to be our topic tonight. But last week when we were... When I sent out the topic, I'm like, we got to jump on this because anybody who saw her on the stand in this case had to have an opinion. This thing went all over the world. The question is, did she set black women back? And, 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 and TLC, when you got the topic, you know I always come to you first. I hate that you just started drinking wine because that wine don't kick in about 40 minutes in now. <laughs> so so you, you, your takes ain't coming out strong like they used to in the beginning. So look, go ahead. Tell me what you thought about it when you got the topic. 
I'm gonna say no. I don't think it's setting women back at all. Black women or whatever the podcast is. Is it on women or black women or both? Black women. Black women. Okay. Black women. Okay. Let's do black I, I women because because she's a black woman. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. I don't think so, and I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> so the way I see it, when I'm thinking wrote a song black, about it. Here it go. <laughs> here it go. That's what he sounded like. When I think of like court cases, all the court cases that have been out there. The only one that comes to mind really was like the OJ trial, and you know the the glove and if it don't acquit you must. Well, if, if it, it doesn't don't fit, fit, if it don't fit you must acquit. <laughs> How far back was that? That's like twenty years ago if you think about it. So I think court cases and stuff. It's kind of like athletes winning championship. You remember the championships? You don't remember the athletes that really played. Don't get me wrong. Everyone lo- loves Mike Vick. He's a great quarterback. But when you talk about Quarterbacks, the first thing that's going to come to mind is not Mike Vick, right? It's just not. People think championships okay. first. So with this case, I think people remember cases that people have, like, won. I think when you look at the OJ thing, it was just amazing because he won the case. I don't know if she's going to win the case. I don't know if it's going to get dropped. But I'm like, if it does, a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, people aren't going to be talking about it. They're not going to even remember this. So I'm going to okay. say no. I don't, okay. I don't I think it's just timely right now. It's current right now. But five years from now, no one be talking about this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> TLC, that's a good take. I, I, okay, you're going at it from a standpoint that it's just a trending event and, and once the next news cycle happens. So you don't think she's gonna get you don't think she's gonna get taken off the case. You don't think the case is gonna get dropped, but what you're saying it really don't matter if she gets taken off the case or if the case gets dropped. Because once the next news cycle happens, go ahead. Ba- basically, I think I don't. I don't think she's gonna get taken off the case. I don't think that. But I, if she wins the case, it's not gonna matter because Trump just has so many other cases and stuff going on. It's gonna get lost in the shuffle. If she loses the case, it's not gonna matter because there's so many. There's so much other stuff going on. I think people don't remember the losses. Like I say, just like with athletes, people people only remember the championship wins. So if she okay. loses, no one's gonna remember it. And if she wins, it's gonna be so much other stuff well, going on anyway. This gonna no be a good gonna podcast. Real cigar cans <laughs> in the comments. I don't no, agree no. with TLC. Yes, Lord, I like it. Finally, oh, finally, Lord. yeah, oh yeah. And she's saying absolutely. Fanny, Fanny Willis is setting us up for ridicule. So we are gonna get into that, Rhonda. What's your take, Rhonda? What's your take on it? Uh, well, you know me. Real cigar can hijacking the comments. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, Go ahead, you know Ryan. me, I, I, I don't ever do my research on stuff, so, like, but first of all, this drink is doggone good, I'm going to say that. This is for <laughs> entertainment purposes, I'm going to say that. And, um, <laughs> but what I feel about, what I feel about her, I wish I would have, would have watched some of the, um, <clears throat> some of the trial just to get an idea, because anybody can create a sound bite with things like that. I think she's in a precarious position, um, with her having the title that she has. And of course, being who she is, um, <clears throat> do I think she's she's setting black women back? I would have to say, I think it depends on which black woman you're talking about. Um, okay. That if they're if they're being set back or not. I think if you're talking about professional women who are climbing a, a corporate ladder, a ladder, or or someone who is um, in in the uh, government arena trying to trying to do so i don't think so i love when a black woman can say what's on her mind um it's going to be it's going to be um it's going to be criticized and ridiculed anyway so you know like you might as well say it i always often like to compare stuff um to if this was a white man saying this it wouldn't even be a story and so whenever something does goes go on in the news like this i always say okay if this was a white man saying this would this even make any type of headlines or, or not but there is something special about, I think we could do without, without the, the extra part of it. Um, but I'm, I'm here for any black woman that's standing up for herself. If someone's accusing them of being a liar or anything like that, I think it's okay to, uh, to always tell your truth and, and what you know to be for, for what you have. Um, I'm proud of her for being in that position again, but I'm proud for any black woman excelling in a position where they do present themselves. I think if this was a man doing his thing and, and sleeping with one of his colleagues, 
I don't think it would be as big. And then add the added thing of the Trump case, um, it wouldn't be as big. So as far as setting setting back, um, I, I say I say yes and no, which I don't like to do. But at the same time, I think if she presented it differently, it wouldn't be such a big deal from the parts that I saw. And I have to okay. say, I did not see um, the whole trial. You only see the parts that make you look like you're. Um, overly inflamed or or aggressive or 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 the typical angry black woman, and so. But I I feel like black women who have a platform, I think if you have the room to show show your emotions, sometimes I don't see anything wrong with that. But I also know that means you're going to be criticized at a at a higher level than any other person. Back to you, Jimmy. Oh, okay. Now, now Rhonda, I'm, I I ain't I ain't too I ain't too off on I ain't too off on your take. I I, I saw uh, I saw quite a bit of it as I prepared. For this podcast but i also got a lot of people it, it, you know in my line of work you you hear about a lot of things right politics <clears throat> religion all that kind of stuff and, and Rhonda, i like your take tlc i like your take because one of y'all gonna be right right one of y'all gonna be right like it, it's either tlc right it's either tlc who's saying right nobody cares right because until the next story comes along and then Rhonda's right like hey look uh, if a white man said it, would it be the same? Right now, we're not here. To, we're, and, 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 and guys, for YouTube purposes, when we, when y'all hear us talking black and white, we're only talking that because that's just the fact. It's not a, we're trying to pit one race against the other. I think all three of us can agree on that. We just talking because if you see a black woman on the stand, you can talk about, you know, how it's going to impact black women. Now, I will tell y'all this. My take is pretty simple. I think she did. And the reason being is you are investigating, you are, you are trying to convict a former president of the United States, regardless if you, regardless if you like them or don't like them. And I want to go somewhere. I'm going somewhere. My answer has multiple layers. Yes, she did, but not for the reasons most people think, right? I don't know when she got on the stand, I think the worst thing she did was she came in hot. This you're, you're the, you're the, you're the district attorney which means you got a law degree and y'all see her when she goes and talks to these churches and stuff like that. It was her presentation was wrong. Her presentation was wrong. And I think one of the things you're going to find though, is if her presentation was better, we wouldn't even be doing this podcast. But when you screaming, this is lies. When you screaming this, and when you talking about what your daddy taught you, when you talking about all this kind of stuff, now all of a sudden you're the district attorney. Did you, did you take money? Is there been a wrap around? to funnel money back to you or not. And I think both of y'all can agree with it, right? The reason you're on stone is not to tell us about your dad, not to tell us this, not to tell us that. Did you take the money or not? Can you prove that this is not a, a, a situation where money came back around to you after, after you paid this man? Now, what y'all also seeing is, seems as though they broken up last year, so it really got ugly. So why did it set black women back? It, it, it played into the stereotype, Ron. It played into the stereotype, TLC. Because at the end of the day, if she would have come up there calm, this wouldn't have been a story. I mean, literally walking there with a dress on backwards. Right? TLC, she's walking to you, the district attorney. You're walking in there, forgot your spanks and everything with your dress on backwards. The American flag pointed up instead of to the side. She just came in hot. They didn't let her testify the next day. So just that alone set black women back because you're the top prosecutor in the, the biggest county in Atlanta. Okay. And when you angry like that, of course, if that's a stereotype and why do they call them stereotypes guys? Cause sometimes it's true. It's not all the time. It's true, but sometimes it's true. TLC jump in and let me know what you're thinking. After you hear me say that. Well, I disagree for the same reason. Well, I mean, she did come in a little hot, a little upset. But uh, I think you know. You now, for black men, for black men, that's just how women say hello. That's how black women say hello. She didn't come. She didn't come in hot to black guys. See, she came in. <laughs> but I mean, she was talking about money. They ask. They keep repeat. What I saw, they kept repeatedly asking her about money, and she's like, "I keep money on hand. I keep money on hand." Like, don't know. I don't know how many times I can tell. And they you. said, "Show us, show us how you got it." They said, "Show us how you got it." She said, I keep at least six months. Six, six months, months, right? I ain't never heard nobody like, like that. Like, what I TLC, stop right there. When you and I talk, I, what do we say? I don't have six months in the bank. <laughs> what, what I tell you, TLC, I got six hours. 
I got six hours. I got six hours. I got six months on me. I got six hours. I got six hours on me. But when I saw it today, the part that I saw today it was just a little clip. It was about a winery, I guess, her and yes. the dude went to. Yes. And the guy agreed with the story. He confirmed that she paid and she paid cash. I forgot what winery they were at or whatever. They were in Napa. They were in Napa Valley. Napa Valley. The guy said that she did pay. She paid in cash. The weird thing about that was, was that it was like a year ago that she was there. This is like last year. I'm like, you, you remember somebody from last year? I thought that was odd, but then this is a true story. Maybe like about a month ago, I was going to um, the cigar bar that I get some of the, I don't want to say higher end cigars that I smoke. Cause... Yeah, no, instead of your black and mild, that's what you smoke. <laughs> but it's a place on the other side of Raleigh that I go to. And it has the, the walk in Hemador, and they have like a, a large selection. So I'm in there, this is about a month ago, and I'm just looking at cigars, trying to figure out what I'm going to get for the podcast. This guy comes in and he's like, man, every time I come in here, you in here, you might just go and buy the box. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I only go in here maybe like twice a month, maybe. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, is he mistaking me for somebody else? Or either B, maybe he was in here the last time I was in here. You said just happened to recognize me again. But I was like, maybe just some people just have that face where people remember him. So I was like, I can't. Or maybe you're the only light skinned dude in, the, in that keep walking in that cigar bar. You know that's the case. Maybe, maybe that's it. I don't know. <laughs> but I thought I thought it was kind of odd. This dude was like, "Man, you in here every time I'm in here. You just need to get the whole box." And I'm like, yep. "I don't really, I don't really come here that much." But then again, <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't go to that winery that that often. But maybe it's just certain people who have a memorable face or memorable personality, and maybe a person does remember them from a year ago. But I was like, "Man, you go you went to a winery one time." A year ago, and they remember it today. TLC, like, you know what happened? They called him up. They trying to justify her <laughs> argument. So you you know they just shot that dude some money to say I saw her and she paid cash. It still don't answer the question though. Where did you get the cash from? I can see where the county paid this man. I can see where the county paid this man. Y'all are going on trips with that money. He paid for you. Okay, show me where you paid him back. Show me where you paid him back. That's what they asking. Show me where you paid him back and show me how you got the cash. She said, I paid him back in cash. Yeah, but show me where you got the cash, TLC. Do you have an ATM receipt? If, if the county pays me directly, it goes to my direct deposit. And I, okay. pull money, and I pull money out, and I put some of that money aside. Agree. So show me, show me, but show me that you pulled it out. That's all they're asking the TLC. Show me that you, nah. you just said I pulled it out. Give me an ATM receipt. That's what they, I ain't, look, I ain't here to, I ain't here to from, the, when, from which time of the ATM? It right? doesn't matter. Your bank should be able to tell you, I can get, I can get how many years of bank statements to show my ATM withdrawal. That can just match up to it. My point to wait, you guys wait, wait, is wait. this. My point is this. Let's say I, I, there's plenty of times I go to the ATM machine. <laughs> I can't show you like where I set that money aside though and put it to this or that. But you can matter. show the withdrawal. But you can show the withdrawal. I can show you every withdrawal I have. I, I, absolutely. So once you can show me the withdrawal, I don't care what you did. Just show me the withdrawal. And Tessie, when you're paying everybody else, when you're paying everybody else in cash and in Zelle and Venmo, but magically you pay him in cash. I'm just saying. I'm asking, did you did it set black women back? Is what I'm saying to you, TLZ. The number one thing she still ain't answered is, show me where you got the cash from. That's all they're asking her. I don't think it's it's uh, hold on, like, just back. As, I'm gonna say I don't, game, I don't as the only game, go ahead. And, and real sick, okay in the comments going crazy. So y'all make sure y'all look at it. Yeah, cause I am over here about to get hot and I need to chill out. <laughs> so that's that's number one. Um speaking from a a woman and a business owner who who people some clients purposely pay me in cash rather don't report that. Mm-hmm. Or whatever they may say, right? Yep. Um and it's it's one of those things where this is such an exorbitant amount of money that she has in, that's in question with her. Um, but I just feel like if if the scrutiny is on where she got it from instead of the act, the actual actions that she's done, I just don't see the point in talking about where her money came from if you're trying to find out. Like I, I just feel like it's just a double standard. That's all. It I can't run. It can't her. come from. It can't come from him if she paid him. It cannot come directly from. So if she paid his business and his business took them on the trip, she can't be there unless she can show she paid her own way. That's what the crime is. That's why they're trying to get her disqualified for all the listeners out there. It's not that they went on the trips. 
what mattered is how did that money funnel? And if she was doing it so that he could take her on these trips, and now the taxpayers are in essence paying for that trip. That's what it, that's what it is. But in essence, her her salary is being paid by taxpayers. Agreed. But, but, but I'm just but, trying to figure out: are we splitting hairs, or is it something really serious? You can't. You know, you can't hire. You can't hire the special prosecutor. Y'all are in that. They, nobody cares about the relationship. The question is, did you enrich yourself from the relationship? That's why when I came up with the topic, is it setting black women back? That's the reason why. The, the, for all the listeners out there, the the complaint is you're enriching yourself off of this case, and you hired him because he would be willing to do it. And if y'all were sleeping together beforehand, you knew it, and you were now paying him three times the amount that you're paying everybody else. So, so he was with her at the vineyard, is what you're saying. As yeah, yeah, yeah. All of them, yeah, all these trips, okay. all these trips he paid for on his business card that was linked to the to the checking account that he that he got paid from Fulton County. Mm -hmm. So that's where that's where the issue is. And what she's trying to say is, I paid him back everything in cash. What well, he got on the stand and said, I paid him back everything in cash. And what blew this up, guys, is, and we talk about this on the podcast. The only thing that blew this up was he's getting a divorce from his wife. He filed divorce papers. The moment she gave him the contract to be the special prosecutor against Trump, he filed divorce papers against his wife, cut his wife off so his wife can't afford anything. And now the wife had to subpoena his bank records. And that's for everybody who's not, who's not, you know, up to speed on it. And so they're trying to make sure that she is not benefiting from the money she's paying him. And that's what blew it up. Does that make sense now, Ron? Yeah, because I definitely haven't been following it. Uh, yeah. But your, po post. your points your points are valid. She's getting paid by the taxpayers. Not an issue there. So if you said I paid $500 to him in cash, what they're asking for her during the trial is, show me where you got that 500 from. And she can't show it. She'll say, I went to Publix, and, and when I paid with my debit card, I said, give me $20 back. Okay, show me that. She, they said, show us, show us your receipts where that came from. And if that can add up to what you said you paid, Okay, we're good, but she's not showing it, and he's not showing it either. Well, it sounds like they should just subpoena her bank records. Well, they, they technically, Rhonda, see, that's the best. That's why I'm saying, are they setting? Are we setting black women back? Because had it not been the inappropriate or, relationship, or, or is it a different rule for black women? Well, I agree. You I agree with you, right? This, so I don't know if it's that in and of itself sets you back if you always got to be the one sharing everything. And if it's more about presentation, then I, I totally get that. The presentation is not the greatest. But at the core of what we're looking at, this is something that's easy to find. If they subpoena stuff, they're good well, at subpoenaing, subpoenaing you, everything else. But you can't subpoena it unless she can't prove that she that she has well, to show a different like way. She, so they're yeah, probably going they're probably gonna be subpoenaing bank records. Go ahead, TSC. I see you got your hand up because I want to go through some stuff with y'all. Go ahead. The burden of proof is on the state, and she was saying, "I'm not on trial," which is why they absolutely can't subpoena yeah, her right. stuff. So she don't have to say anything more, and she knows that, and that's why. And she, but she did she's though. Not, she's not setting anyone back because they have to prove first that she did something illegal. And until they do that, she can just keep her mouth shut. But like, they maybe have unethical, maybe like no integrity part of it, maybe. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. But that's why what, I need to watch. It. But no, but I think what you're gonna find, Ron, is this. I think what you go, I think what you guys are gonna find is this. She does. You don't want to get your bank records subpoenaed, right? So they're asking her, "Can you provide this, this, and this?" Because once they subpoena it, and you can't find these cash withdrawals, now it just means she's like she said, "I'm not on trial." These people are on trial for trying to steal an election. That was probably yes. one of her most powerful lines. However, the question is, are you enriching yourself? This man got paid six hundred and fifty-four thousand dollars. Has any of that money come back to you directly, indirectly, or, or, or some way, shape, or form? The question is, is it setting black women back? And the reason why I'm going there with you guys is this, right? Black women, you got to know that when you're coming up against the president of the United States, your house better be clean. Former. Former president of the United States, right? Appreciate that, Ron. Yeah. Is politics ruining your relationship coming up on the next part? Absolutely, it is. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I guess I can't. So, so, so that's why I appreciate the fact that y'all are not as immersed in it because most people are not as immersed in it. Cause most people just like everybody else was working while this trial was going on. Right. And so you got to catch it on the YouTube. You got to catch it on your news. And like you said, Ron, everybody clipping things out. So I've watched a bunch of it, mm -hmm. but the reason I say this thing set black women back was if I back on the Cosby show, back on the Cosby show, when, 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 
uh, uh, Jeremy was dating Vanessa. No, 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 no. Uh, Dabness came to to oh to God. date Vanessa. When okay. Dabness came to date Vanessa, and Cliff had to tell him, "Man, look, juicy steak. Man, you know what would you want with it?" And he just went through. If you took dinner, you took. If you if I took you out to dinner, or if I made you a meal, would you want a juicy steak and all this kind of stuff? Right, Ron, know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. And then he said, "Now, what if I served it to you on the trash can lid?" Because Vanessa just bought you in here on the trash can lid, mm. right? Mm-hmm. What we're talking about is her presentation. Okay, you can't show up with your dress on backwards because you coming in hot. They didn't want you to. They didn't even want you to testify. You went against your lawyers and got on the stand. Did it set black women back? I'm going there for a reason, guys. I'm going there for a reason. We know the rules aren't fair. We know it's not. Of the three of us on this panel, we know it's not fair. You know you got to do things different. TLC, when we went to NC State, Ron, I'm pretty sure the same thing happened to you at East Carolina. We go into orientation, what's the first thing they say? You got to sit in the learning tee. Why we got to sit in the learning tee? The non-minorities are not getting taught to sit in the learning tee. What's the learning tee? First two, the first two rows across the front and anywhere up the middle. Because when you're taking that biology class, TLC, and there's 500 people in there, you want that professor to see you. And why? Because they know you're going to need some help from that professor <laughs> to get on your class. And he need to be able to see you. TLC, you know it's the case. So we had to sit in the learning tee. We had to speak to everybody who looked like us when we were walking across campus. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Always speak, right? Always speak. TLC know what I'm talking about. So we know the rules are different. But I'm going to give y'all a different perspective. I'm going to give y'all a different perspective. Real Scar K, I appreciate that, I appreciate that comment. Um, she's trying to put these same charges against Trump. So now she's being, you know, basically, you're charging Trump with RICO. So now your charges are the, would be the same if she was on trial. That's that's the whole case behind it when you guys kind of get into it. So I think I think Fannie Willis is going to be taken off the case. I don't think the case is going to get dropped. And we'll get into this and you know, we'll 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 probably run into this again if it, if the case gets dropped and all that cuz we got to do one on politics as we get closer to the election. Now I want I want to share this with y'all. I'm going to share y'all I'm going to share y'all my 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 thoughts and then I want y'all to I want y'all to get into this. What if I told y'all that it's not it's not that she just set black women back. Being involved in the government is not good for black women. Being involved in government business or government jobs are not good for black women. Let me show y'all what I'm about to do. So Fannie Willis is the district attorney. Fannie Willis in private practice, if she was in private practice representing defendants, this ain't even a case. See, Rhonda, that's what a lot of people don't get. When you go work for the government, the rules are set up to where, right, to where you can't do certain things. And the reason why I'm going there with y'all is this. Every successful business when America was first started, every successful business when America first, was first started, and even though America was founded on slavery, segregation, every person who had a business had a black woman next to them. There was a black woman that knew where all the bodies were buried. They were the most trusted source. You had to have a black woman next to you. Where you think you get movies like The Help From, who trained that? Who trained that little white boy that he was superior? It was the black person in the house training the, the, the white boy that he was superior. I'm going there, guys, because I want to show y'all this. I'm going to just share y'all a bunch of titles and why the government, why the government, if a black woman gets involved in the government, they end up hating a lot of stuff. Now, y'all check this out. Let me share my screen. Here's the first one. Here's the first one. Oh, sorry. I just want y'all to look at this title. These are all black women. These are all black women. Fannie, Fannie Willis' testimony evokes long-standing frustrations for black women leaders. We ain't gonna get we ain't gonna get into the we ain't gonna get into the article. I just want y'all to see all these black women who are in high-level positions with the government. Yeah, I'm going there. Y'all remember that one? I got five I want to share with y'all. Here's the next one. Here's the next one. Y'all know this one. Who just shut down the who just shut down Trump's? Who just shut down Trump's businesses in New York? Letitia James says she's prepared to seize Trump's buildings if he can't pay that $354 million fine. Attorney General of New York. Right? The the one component that used to be all about building every business in the country, in a country that was built on segregation, slavery, all that kind of stuff. Black women have now been put in positions to ruin those same businesses. Now, here we go. 
want y'all to see the next one. Because TLC, I want y'all to, I want y'all to, hold on, stop sharing. All right, I got three more I want y'all to see. Because this thing, this thing got me now as I was in my, when I was in my study. This black mayor, this black mayor, Dalton, Illinois, outside of, right outside of Chicago. Black mayor, right? This is the lady that's stealing all the money from the suburb in Chicago. She claimed that this is what white people do when they get in office so we can do the same thing. This is her, <laughs> right? She turned the, the, the bank account into her personal piggy bank, right? Again, TLC, another black woman that's gotten involved in government, okay? TLC, hey, don't give me that look, bro. People can see you. People I know. I'm see. seeing. I'm seeing the no, outsiders. Here, I'm seeing the outsiders the, here. Here's the deal, TLC. Here's another one. Y'all remember when that Haitian president got killed? The widow is indicted in his 2021 assassination. TLC, you can't make this up. She has just been arrested in connection to his murder. She has just been connected. And con again, two more. TLC, this ain't no outsider. These are things that were in the news. You're not these showing me you on a whole you how many these... black women in politics. Uh, you you, you missed some point. Out of that section, you're showing me one or two outliers. It's, I'm not okay. sending, I'm showing you five of them right now. <laughs> I can well, go on and on, TLC, but we only got five, an hour. Five former, women. Like... Former Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh was released from prison early. Everybody remember her, the Baltimore mayor, right? TLC, I'm, I'm just telling you this. And then here's the last one. The Baltimore attorney general, the Baltimore attorney general, okay? Former top prosecutor for Baltimore, convicted of mortgage fraud. All the, look, why, why am I going here with you guys? Why am I going here? Why am I going here with you guys? As I just said, as I just said, being attached to the government, being attached to the government is what's making these people, what's making these black women fail and in, in, in get caught up in this entrapment. If they were in the private sector, TLC, this wouldn't be an issue. So TLC, I gave you five of these articles. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not that Fannie Willis is setting black women back. When black women get into the government, right? It's not just Fannie Willis. When black women get into the government, this is exactly what happened. And guess what? You ever hear black people say, well, we gonna, we need to do what they do. But what have you been taught wrong about what they do? Jump in that TLC. Okay, so my point was, I don't, I don't know how many black women are in politics or in government and how many hold upper positions. But what I was saying was, out of all the black women out there that are in government home positions, you're, you're choosing five. Which I'm Ooh, assume, I'm, I said I'm assume, government. I said government authority positions. TLC. If you still authority positions out there, you're picking five. No, five. I'm giving you five that was in the news recently. You won't. I can keep going. <laughs> I would have to know how many women, like what percentage of that is, because I don't think it's that high percent. I don't think every black woman out there that's in politics is no. committing crime. But another topic, talking <laughs> about. Um, we were talking about the RICO charges yes. and politicians. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, it was a while back, I was watching this Netflix special, and it was on um, Giuliani, and the mayor mm -hmm. of America, of course, he was mayor of New York. Mm -hmm. It was talking about how he took the mob down. This whole thing was about how he took the mob down and how he used RICO law to go after the mob. And so, basically, what they were saying was, the New York Mafia controlled all the construction jobs mm -hmm. and they still in New do. York. Probably yep. so. And uh, in it, it said that there's no construction job at the time in New York that was over a certain amount, like maybe 300K. Yep. If it was over that amount, they would give it to like their people to do that job. Their people would go on the site to do the job. They skim money off the top. They would skim um, supplies and stuff off the top. They give the companies kickbacks so everybody got paid. No one would say anything. In this video, in this documentary, they showed 
Mayor Giuliani at the time talking to Donald Trump. And one of the buildings yep. was like Trump yep. Tires. I was like, that's the first time I've seen um, Giuliani and Trump together. And they were talking about this Rico thing and how it's all working out. And how the mafia was getting paid on yep. the back end. And how they were giving kickbacks to the company so they would stay quiet. And I was like, why did Giuliani go after the mob and not after Trump because they were giving the kickback. Like, that's the first time I saw them connected. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, not after that turned out, Giuliani ended up being Trump's attorney, and I was like, oh, now I see how it all comes together. Why Trump's name wasn't involved in that. So this has always been going on with government. It's nothing new. The fact that you're showing me five women, it really isn't anything new. It's a black woman. I don't think they set black women back. But but you're missing what I said. Every successful company, and Rhonda, I want you to jump in there. Every successful company that was started in America, who was right next to the white man that started it. You can go back and do, when did black women start switching to go work for the government? We just did a podcast on this child support ruining relationships. You go back a few generations, wasn't no child support. You didn't trust the government. Now you've been shaken down for child support. <laughs> Right, TLC. Now, not us, because ain't nobody up here got it. But we didn't talk to enough people who scared to death of child support. Mm-hmm. Right. The reason I'm bringing it in, TLC, I'm talking about P- Fannie Willis ain't no lightweight. Right. Let's be honest. This is you, the district attorney of Fulton County, to a point where Brian Kemp, who's the governor, did not even want to get, did not even want to appear to mess with her. You, the most powerful person in Atlanta. I mean, in in, in Georgia, basically. TLC, do you agree with me, Rhonda? Do you agree with me when, when I make the statement about black women being critical to every major company that was started in this country? Am I lying? I don't know if I would say every company, but I mean, women have always had their place in society. No, 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 no. no, no. Black like, women. Black women, TLC. Black women, but I don't you know could, as far as like why it was called hidden, Why was that movie called Hidden Figures? Why was the movie called Hidden Figures? Because it was hidden. Who's the here's the person doing everything? But because of the way the system was set up, you never they never got credit. Right? Now this ain't a black woman thing, but I'm in the business. Jack Daniels, right? Was founded by who? Black dude. But a black dude couldn't be on a patent application. That's why they have Uncle Nearest now. As a way to make up for what he didn't get from making Jack Daniels. See, we got to understand when we partner with the government. We start getting taught these things. Oh, well, white people do this, and and, and they and this is what they do, so we got to do the same thing. Right? Oh, man, you got to go get random government contract. Well, you know when you get a government contract, you better have somebody ensuring the compliance. Jump in there, Ronald. Let me know what you're thinking. Black women are vital to um, a lot of what happens in America um, when it comes to... Black women are smart, man. They have their, they have their own thing. It's, it's not like... You now, it's Yes, the stuff had to be done behind closed doors and, and yeah, they're not put as the face of places. It's trying to come out, but it's nowhere near um, representative of what Black women do bring to the table. Um, but you said about how they are uh, like taking down these companies and stuff, but at some point you do get sick and tired of being sick and tired, to quote Fannie Lou Hamer. And it's like, you know, I'm not I'm not surprised that you were able to pull those particular um articles up. Um and like you were you were the first one to tell me when I started my business to watch the Wolf of Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Right? It shows you what what basically white people do. Mm-hmm. Like in business and stuff like that. But I also know that's not something that I could do in the position that I'm in, in the system that we have. But I just don't want it to seem like there's a bashing of black women because black women do bring a lot to the table and and we don't know the circumstances and i just i don't know it just seems like it's again presentation is one thing but then taking it to a level where black women destroys things that's something i definitely well, but remember one, if i so. share this letitia if i share this letitia james article remember what letitia james ran on if you go back and do the history in 2018 she ran on getting trump she ran on getting Trump. That was her. That was her whole point, right? Now, and again, why but am I talking to the judge to make the final decision? No, but she handpicked. Right? But she handpicked the judge, though. 
she handpicked Just his like people. Hand, Trump has handpicked his people around agreed, him as well. Agree, but my point to I you did, is, again, but, no, but the, the point is, you don't use the government to take somebody down. You don't find a man and then find a crime. What happened with Fannie Willis is, and same thing with Letitia James. This is why the governor of New York had to come out and say, "Hey, these truckers are ready to boycott coming to New York City." Right? You got to talk. You got to think about this collateral damage that's happening. And the reason why I want to do this podcast, guys, and the reason I'm showing y'all these five, I can show you more. Because the more women get involved in government, the more, the more, especially the more black women get involved in government, you got to understand maybe what you've been taught about how government operate, you got taught wrong. And then if you go do it, now you're going to be made the example of. Right now, here's, a, here's the problem. I could pull up Bob Menendez uh, from New Jersey, the senator from New Jersey, who still got his seat. And they're investigating him right now. They found gold bars from all these Nigerian business bankers and where he accepted bribes and his wife were accepting bribes. We're not talking about that story. We're not talking about that story. And the number one thing I'm trying to tell everybody is I, the reason I wanted to talk about this was because I don't want black women to become known as taking a business down, trying to destroy stuff. These are the same women who this country, if you took the black woman out of the country, as far as is what they did vital, it was it was necessary. It was necessary to have a black woman in your company if you want to grow it. And don't get mad at me if all the listeners out there get mad at history. Get mad at history because who did who knew all the secrets? Who knew where all the buried the bodies were buried? Who knew where all the bodies were buried? Who kept everything in order? Who knew what to do? Who knew when the, the, the guy wanted certain stuff? Who knew everything he wanted to do? Well, we need to get back to black women being known for that and that making the news versus Fannie Willis having a dress on back, putting her, putting her daddy on the stand, talking about I'm a Kappa man, and I don't know, I wouldn't agree with her getting with Alpha man and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> don't matter. TLC, why you, let's see what you shake your head. Because outside of the Greek Divine Nine, nobody cares the about re- that stuff. The there. reason why she put her father on stage because she said my father was the one who told me to always keep uh-huh. <laughs> Six months worth of cash on me, so she brought Absolutely. him up to verify that story, which he did. But TLC, so, I mean, TLC, that's the whole point of that. You're the district attorney, bro. You can't use what your daddy taught you in a legal sense. They just they asked her if she told me. <laughs> this, this is why I have cash on me. Like I don't know what you want from me. Like, TLC, okay, prove. Look, prove, prove. Then you got the cash from. That's all that's happening. I don't think nobody has a problem with her. I don't think anybody has a problem with her having cash. I think they do have yeah, a problem with her I think they do, cash. too. Yeah. They yeah. do. They CLC. definitely have a problem with her. They don't have a problem. Cash. You have a problem with you not being able to show where you got the cash from. Once, the, once, all? M- once money hits my bank account, I pull it out. It's a, there's no... Okay, show me where... That's I all they want to see. No, show me where you pulled it out. Show me where you pulled it out. And TLC, see, you can pull out. You can pull out your withdrawal. See, we ain't giving 20 out, TLC. See, TLC, we ain't giving 20 out. But think about this. Think about if she How come you still getting 20 out? How come you still getting $20 out in 2024? We've been getting $20 out. That's all I need. It's... That's all I need. That's 20. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to hit those bottom themselves up, man. Go ahead and give me that $20 out. Give me $5 of gas. I'm just saying, once you... The money hits your bank account. That's it. You take whatever you want. You can put it Agreed. aside. When you go place with cash, I don't have to prove nothing to you. TLC, they're not that's asking her to prove. TLC, they they're are. agreeing with her they if are. she paid. they saying if you pay cash, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Show us where the cash came from. That's all. Because he put it. He was the dumb one to put it on his credit card. If he wouldn't have put it on his credit card, nobody would have ever known. And if he wouldn't have divorced his wife, nobody would have ever known. And remember that. Like, they broke that. up. TLC, the only reason this blew up was because they got divorced. He and the dude, the dude got divorced. And you guys got to remember, Fannie Willis was also, there was rumors that she was sleeping with some of the guys that were in YSL, allegedly. And now they're on trial when they broke up. So there's a lot of stuff happening with her that if you're going to get, if you're going to go after the former president and 18 of his friends or 17 of his friends, but all three of us can agree, you better have your house clean, correct? Yeah. You better have your house clean. What do you say, Ron? Not necessary. Not necessary. I mean, well, because again, again, if you're automatically saying that 
working in government is corrupt anyway, then it, no, whose house is going to be clean? That's my point, right? So it, it, look, let me so tell you this, friend. Let me tell you this. Our government, we're watching. We're watching. Our government is 30 something trillion dollars in debt. We don't get to be in debt like that without a bunch of phone calls happening to our house, putting a pre tremendous pressure. We're watching as our politicians are not being squeezed by $6 milk, right? How are they making money off of inside of trading and all that kind of stuff? If you do that in the private sector, TLC, what happens? You get locked up. See, they're not, they up there enriching themselves, but you didn't get taught officially how to enrich yourself. How did Fannie Willis, how could Fannie Willis gotten away with this? If you're going to do this, you better start your shell company that has a shell company that has a shell company. You better have a different, a bunch of different layers if you're going to do that. CTLC, you're shaking your head. Mm. But how do you think these guys are enriching themselves? You ain't I, think, I think the shell just... companies, all that, is just going to put a longer trail out there. I think she did Absolutely. the right thing. No. Cash. TLC. Said, it, it ain't illegal having cash. That's TLC. If she would have had shell companies, she did something illegal. TLC. See, I hate to go there. Having cash ain't illegal. I hate to go there, God dog. But even the doggone drug dealer know to open a dry cleaner, car wash, uh, what else? He laundry mat. He gonna open something. You got to have companies to hide this thing. And she didn't do that. That's all she had. If TLC, if they would have found, let me let me let me give it to you, TLC. Let me give it to you. And again. If she would have said, Nathan Wade, I'm paying you. If Nathan Wade would have taken that money, and then if Nathan Wade would have created some other company to fund the money to, right? And then Nathan Wade paid him a salary out of that company. Because once you create that one shell company, once you create that one shell company, that's why you see multiple people having multiple shell companies. Why do you think every one of our senators and congressmen got all these businesses to funnel their donations through, these super PACs? Oh, and this is just a regular pack. So we can only take this much money over here. And we got this super pack over here. We get unlimited donations. And then we got this company who operate on our behalf, but we don't have nothing to do with it. See what I'm saying, TLC? We don't get taught. We don't get taught this kind of stuff. And then we say, when we get in there, we ain't going to do all that. Man, just give me my money. But yeah, I, I'm just telling we use cash. So now, Fannie Willis, let's just say she used cash and it's all good. Now the IRS going to come. Because IRS is saying, all this cash, where my cut? Where's my cut? Go ahead, TLC. You got the cut when it was in the bank. That's what I was saying. Once I take the money no, out of the bank, that's you, you didn't get taxed, the cut. You've already taxed me on the income when it came in. No, no, no. no but I can't see it. Once, but once I can't see it, TLC. We're not talking about it. the money she got. We're not talking about the money she got on her direct deposit. We're talking about the money has made its way back around to her. Okay. The you money was the money. money that, oh yeah, you do TLC. You on a trip with the dude you paid. You on a trip with the hey, dude you paid. Allegedly, you talking about allegedly that? That's how. I said, that's how I said she's smart. She ain't taking. She ain't taking women back. Oh my god. Oh my god. He clapping. She ain't taking women back. She's showing you how to do TLC. this thing. TLC. She, TLC clapping always, like a sister. Always operate in cash. Always <laughs> operate in cash. They can't prove it. TLC, did you just they start clapping do, TLC? They can do all the talking they want. TLC, TLC, TLC. If you if you were a manager at your job, and now you'd have hired the girl that you're sleeping with, and now you'd have paid her more than everybody else in that same position, she getting paid more, and y'all like the lunch every time, but you telling her to pay the bill, right? So mm -hmm. did you did you enrich yourself by going to lunch with her and didn't have to pay? Did you enrich yourself? Now you tell people that I paid her back in cash, right? So show me where you show me show me where you got the cash from, so we'll know that you didn't pay it from money that she gave you, right? This is the whole point, TLC. I keep so, cash laying around. I don't have a receipt for cash that I keep laying around my house. That's what I'm saying. Agreed. No, which is so, fine. So, cash. so there's no way to prove that. That's no way to yeah. prove it either. And no, but, but just because you clap, it. don't just because you clap, don't mean it got right, right? Like I, 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 I mean, I'm, here, I'm, here for, I'm here for the clap. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just you, won't. I, TLC, cash. TLC, I don't have a problem with people operating in cash. I don't have a problem with people operating in cash. But when it's tied to the person you paying, and y'all got a uh, y'all got a side relationship, you got to keep that clean. You agree with that, right? Or you saying, no, nah, man, we bonding Clyde you, over here. You you need to keep it clean, yes. 
but it's about what you can prove in court. You can't prove where that money came <laughs> from. Okay, you okay, can't. That's not what you can prove. You can't prove where that money came from. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> You look like you sound like Dave Chappelle on the episode when people ask him about OJ and Michael Jackson and R. Kelly. Now I need his grandma ID, right? That's how you sound over there. It's up to the, it's up to the court to prove I'm guilty. But, 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 but before we get out of here, guys, we talk about relationships all the time on this podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Remember how many times we did a podcast called uh, "Is It's Being Single the Best in 2024," and one of the things I said was. For all y'all who married, y'all don't, this ain't for y'all. You married. Had the divorce not happened, and I tell people the only thing worse than the, the only thing worse than marriage is divorce. Had the divorce not happened, we wouldn't have heard about this. So you know what? To see the guy on the stage freezing, that's why Fannie Willis came in hot. Right? Because it, it most of us got taught that the man should be a protector, right? That's what most of us got taught. That man got on the stage and froze, and he could not properly explain what was happening, which is why Fannie Willis got on the stand like that. Now, the judge told her, you're not supposed to watch his testimony or anything like that. That's why she came in hot, okay? All I'm saying to you, TLC, is that she should. She has an obligation. She has an obligation to make sure that if you're going you're gonna to be sleeping with the guy you hired for head prosecutor, and he's going to get paid more than everybody else. TLC, I think we both can agree. Rhonda, I think we can both agree. All three of us can agree. You've got to keep that clean, especially if you're going through a divorce, especially if you're going after the 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 the, the, pre- the former president of the United States. Because here's the deal, guys. Y'all know if she wins this case, she was going to be the next governor of Georgia. She was going to do what Stacey Abrams couldn't. They had told her they would pro- they would go they would be behind her to be the next governor of Georgia, TLC, and you'd have just messed it up. You done just messed it up, and y'all ain't even together no more. Y'all broke up in the end of 2023. We talking, TLC, we talking a few trips to Belize, to Napa, and you done lost. You, what are you being? You're being, now she, the, the, the church gave her an award. Did you see that on the news? She got an award from the church for, the, 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 for Black History Month for the person of the year. I say, TLC. What you think, TLC, when you hear that? I'm going to just say this. It's, she messed up, in my opinion, by hooking up with someone she worked with. That's where it all comes tumbling down. But that's just not for black women. That's for anybody out there. You messing with the person you work with, that's a bad situation. You hired for the head prosecutor, TLC. We, we've seen it with the media people. We've seen it all over. But, you know, again, if she wins the case... It's not going to tear black women down. If she loses the case, it's not going to tear black women down. I think it's going to move on. Nobody's even going to remember this. Either way, TLC. TLC. As long as this case is, as long as this case is in the news, TLC. This case ain't going. This case, the trial, they hadn't even started yet. So, and I know you keep saying it's going to go away. They hadn't even set a date. So unless they drop this case, it ain't going away. Rhonda, jump in there. Let me know what you're thinking. My bad, not when you were right, right about the drink. My bad. No, you you found no. Do I think it's do I think this is gonna go away? No, I think no matter what she decides to do politically, that it's always gonna be a question um for her in any in interview. Um she probably could write a book about it or, or whatever the case may be. Um I just hope people have the same energy when this actual case comes up with Trump. And all the things that that he's doing again, which is why I say it's such a double standard. And but no, I don't. I know people will continue to talk about it because if this case does go through, and she and and the office actually wins that case, it is going to be huge. It's going to um, get overturned on appeal. It's going to get overturned on appeal. That's the problem. Well, and and that and that may be the case, but mm-hmm. to bring the to bring the charges in and of itself was huge. Mm-hmm to even do that but that former president was also doing things that had never been done publicly in office that got caught too I agree. so it's like so many things are first for for so many things but it does seem like she's definitely under a microscope period just for the position and then on top of this the the alleged unethical things that that's going on um but 
there's always a rule. You don't poop where you eat. You don't poop where you eat. Um, well, and, and guess what, Rhonda? I'm glad, I'm glad you said that, right? You don't do that where you eat. But what she also has to understand, somebody got to tell that fool, if we don't, you can't, like, dude, we we can't have anything going on because if he wasn't getting divorced, guys, we not even having this podcast. Remember, she the first one to get Trump's mugshot. This woman was on her trajectory up. On her trajectory up. But guess what, man? The scripture tell you before you before you come to take the thing out of my out of out of my eye, take the take the whole thing out of yours first, right? If they would have just managed it, if this dude would have taken care of his ex wife, if you are gonna leave your wife, you know you got to take care of that because once the divorce attorneys got involved, that's the whole perspective, guys. So, Rhonda, you absolutely everybody got to understand that there's always looking there's always somebody looking to turn you in. Always know there's somebody looking to turn you in. And whoever did this to Fannie Willis, somebody close, right? Somebody close to them, this thing don't make it to a hearing unless you got credible evidence. I think we can all agree with that. Now, the whole case has been turned on her, and ain't nobody talking about the original case anymore. And again, it goes back to my favorite movie, Enemy of the State. I don't know if he got the tape or not. <laughs> but I do know we need to attack his credibility if he does have a tape, ain't nobody going to believe him when it come out. TLC, what's your final thought for the night as we get ready to get out of here? Again, the original question was, does it set women back? I, black women I back. Say, black women back. I say <laughs> no. <laughs> because if she wins the case, it doesn't really matter. There's so many other cases against Trump going on. It's going to get lost in the shuffle. If she loses the case, I don't think it's going to set women back. Again, there's so much going on. It's going to get lost in the shuffle. I kind of thought somewhere in this conversation about um, the CEO of BET, how she was talking about how she had to climb her way up, and it, it turned yep, out yep. she was sleeping her way up. But again, nobody, no, nobody cares. It's it's in the private sector, and we were talking about government, so yes, I didn't really yes. bring it in. But again, when we really get into it, nobody really cares. Deborah Lee, whatever her name was. Yep. Nobody cares because it's been so much going on. It's been so much movement. So, in the end, it's a big issue right now, just because it's a current event. But a year from now, two years from now, it's not going to matter at all. I don't think it's set women back at all. Okay. All right, Rhonda. What's your final thought for tonight? Um, that we, you know, let's give black women some grace, man. Like it's hard out here in these streets, whether you're in the <laughs> corporate side or or the government side. Um, her presentation, of course, could always have been a whole lot better um, than than what it was. But I agree with, with uh, what TLC said earlier. The burden of proof is on the prosecution. To, Ronald, to TLC, got, TLC got that from Dave Chappelle's skit years ago. That's where he got the burden of proof is on the state. <laughs> so, he only get oh, a burden of proof. That's that's that, but that 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 is a good point. And and like if it's something they really want to get. They should just subpoena it, but I don't think she set black women back. I think you can only be set back, set back if you allow yourself to be set back. Um, again, but the presentation could have been, could have been better. Okay, y'all know my point, man. Look, stereotypes are out there for a reason. I get accused of stereotypes. People try to set you up based on stereotypes. People try to do everything based on stereotypes. And one of the one of the stereotypes out there for black women, angry you know, out of control, all that kind of stuff. Y'all know the negative stuff that's tied to black women. Why am I saying this, guys? Did it set black women back? If you don't believe it set women back, at the very least, it confirmed what people who are on the outside of the culture and for some reason, and for some inside of the culture, okay? All I'm saying is that we need to get back to the private sector. All of our, we need to be in the private sector. And I know people think government fixes everything. But government doesn't do anything but mess stuff up. And if y'all got to remember, who is the politician out there begging for money? They're begging the people who are in the private sector to give them money. So in essence, in essence, I'd rather be in that private sector having an impact as opposed to getting into this public sector where everything is public. There, the system is set up where you cannot succeed without being some type of corrupt, without, having, without getting involved in some type of corruption. Now, look, Fannie Willis working long hours. 
when you at that level, it's lonely, right? When you, when you, when you work on that level. So those kind of things can happen. But I think one of the things that it did set black women back, but I think black women need to start looking at the fact that go back to the private sector because it's the private sector people who own the politicians. So let's stop being the politician and let's start being the person who owns the politician. And now we can get away from being in these confines that never worked for us. This government never worked for us. So why are we now going to do things on behalf of the government to destroy other people? Let's get back into the private sector. Let's work our situations out in the private sector, because all these things would not be there if these people were in the private sector and they know you've been taught wrong and they're going to let you get to a high level so they can bring you down so that it makes the news. But if you were in the private sector, this would never even be the case, man. And y'all know what it is. It's the smoke something, drink something podcast, man. Y'all do me a favor. Get below in the description. Support the channel. Get your merch. I had it over here, but we ain't get a chance to drink it, man. Rhonda's name is uh, Rhonda's tag is down in the uh, Rhonda's tag is down in the, uh, the description. TLC's tag is in the description. We ran a little long tonight, man. Y'all get down in the comments. That really helps us with the algorithm, man. And I'm going to tell you, until next time, we going to holler.